morning, welcome back. My name's Lucy. This is Life by Lucy, my channel which is about lifestyle, my fitness journey. Generally speaking, it's been about my fitness journey so far, but I'm going to shake it up a little bit. So this week I uh, injured my foot. My last video, just as I went to upload it on Sunday, I went to the gym and while I was at the gym, my feet started to really hurt and uh, yeah, I, so it turns out that it was my shoes. So I did my gym session, but then I had to take a few days off while I waited for new shoes to arrive. I had to get home and order some new shoes. I have very big feet, so I couldn't just go down the shop and grab some. So I went to the Athlete's Foot a shop here. I do like scans and stuff. I'm sure they're everywhere. They get you to like walk and they tell you your foot type and all that stuff. Got a good pair of runners. In fact, I got two, but they took a few days to get here. And in the meanwhile, I had to take a few days off. I could barely walk. And I hate making excuses like that. Oh, but it's true, I really, really couldn't. So I didn't really hit my fitness goals this week. I focused on other areas because sometimes you can't. This week I went and decluttered my house massively, like massively. I didn't really do any video of that except for some wardrobe stuff. So I'm gonna, I go, I was gonna be doing a smoothie, a bit of a period to reset everything, but because of my feet, I didn't start it. So that will happen either next week or the week after. Also at the moment, there's a lot of fresh seasonal fruit and veg around and I'm such a whore for it and I'm all about the fresh fruit and veg. So I'm actually really enjoying, we got like a farmer's box delivered and we cook on a barbecue, so I cook on a barbecue. But we are downsizing at some point soon and our kitchen in this new place that we're building is a barbecue. So I thought, well, what better way to start that than like the cooking barbecue for a couple of months now. We've got a really great barbecue. Turn the knob and it turns on so everything's cooked on a barbecue. We've downgraded the kitchen. Not downgraded, downsized the kitchen to accommodate for that fact. It's it's fantastic so really enjoying all the beautiful fresh fruit and veg that's coming in. Today I want to do a project pan because I was going through my bathroom stuff and oh my god I've got so many products. I used to do a skincare line of my own and I'm in my 40s and I've never had, but no, that's a lie. I had Botox once, it did not work. I am the 1% of people that should have got my allergy test done first. I had Botox done, I wanted to lift my brows back up because uh, when I was younger, um, I had very Jack Nicholson brows, they were very up here. And I've got, oh, they've fallen down a little bit. Um, and particularly under here, that's the biggest sign of aging that I've had, less. And uh, I was told that you can get like a Botox brow lift, and so I went in to have that, and uh, my brow actually went like this for like three months. I looked like I was really puzzled, and there was nothing I could do about it. I just had to wait for it to go away. So I've had Botox that one time. The rest of the time, it's just skincare that's kept it soft and youthful and supple. So I own heaps of skincare products because uh, the cross between genetics, I do have good genes for it. And thanks mum. And yeah, and so I enhance that with a lot of skincare products and a lot of uh, just general body products. I, I, I'm a very groomy sort of person, but it's a bit out of hand. Everything has been a bit out of hand and I haven't realized how much of a clutter queen I have been. So. On that declutter journey, I decided because I um, I used to also, and I still am, I just don't practice it as much, uh, a makeup artist. So I really enjoy like project pans and videos about makeup and techniques and I, I practice a fair bit. So I decided to do my own project pan and you never see those from, by, by men. You just don't, or they're always like just makeup stuff. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I don't want it to just be makeup because I don't use very much makeup at all anymore. I have a really great kit, but I, I don't actually use it enough to do a project pen, that's for sure. I don't have daddy products that I use. Know the hair colour. <laughs> it's an in-between colour. I'm actually darkening it again today, but I bleached it the other day. I've got a warming layer on it, and I'll put a brown over the top of it, I imagine. This was meant to be darker. Didn't work out. So these are the products that I'm going to put into my project pen for daily stuff. So project pen number one. So first thing that I'm going to do is go through some of the empties of the products that I've used in 2021. Obviously a lot of these have started last year, finished now. Am I going to replace them, update them, buy them again? Let's have a look though. This is my 
empties for 2021. Now we're only a little bit in, so there's only a few empties in there. Also, I, I don't use as many products as typical project panners and they're, they're different products to what would normally be in them. So let's just go through it. Hair color, buying another one. Uh, this was the body wash. Oh, there's a tiny little bit in it, but it's empty. It's a Persisto's Kakadu Plum and Lemon Myrtle Nourishing Body Wash. It was okay, it smelled nice. Not great. Um, I go three times of these. That's the Sukin Rose Water Hydrating Mist. Um, I love them, they're really great. Uh, this took me nearly two years to use up. So right on the, it's the Julique Vitalistic Gel Lotion Rose Moisture Plus. This stuff is just, it's to die for. It smells and feels so good, but it leaves a, a residue layer on your skin that's, um, no, I, I won't be replacing it. It was lovely, but I'm not replacing it, and the smell was divine. Uh, Bulgari Shower Gel Douche, as it's called. Ah, oh, the Archimed. This one is a really intense dermal age to buy moisturizer. It actually dried up. This one went up to the tropics with me and came back and it didn't cope too well with the heat changes. I should have probably kept it in the fridge. Archimed is a brand by Kryolan, and I used to use this in my kit as my, my layer before pine clients. There were actually more products. I go through deodorants like you would not believe. So there were actually about three deodorants in there, but I threw them out. So yeah. there were actually a few more products, but that's it for now. So that's my empties. Regular daily products. I've got two baskets. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs> this doesn't happen on its own. So at the moment I'm using the so you can, I've got volumizing, I don't need volumizing, but I like volumizing uh, shampoos. A shampoo and conditioner, I don't like them, but I'll, I'll use them up. The conditioner's fine, but I wish it came in little bottles because I only use it like every week or so. Volumizing shampoo, I'm, this seems to be making my hair and my, my scalp itchy. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be drying out my scalp. Yeah, I usually really like the Sukin range of products, but I won't be buying that one again. I place it with something else. It's nearly finished. It's only got like that much, that much left. So I'll replace that soon. My general body wash is this one, Koi. I think I just got it from Woolworths. It smells delightful. Blood orange and ginger. I normally go for natural products, but sometimes I, I base things on just how they smell. And the ingredients, there's no sulfates, parabens or silicates in it, so it's kind of natural. I am using up, this is uh, Silk Skincare. You get this from the laser, Silk Laser Clinics. I have laser on my beard, you can't tell these days. Whenever I get regrowth after shaving, it looks like I've so with my throat, it just comes through really irritated. So I got laser done and it's really helped with that. I don't shave as much. The hair is, doesn't, it's not a permanent fixture. Um, IPL, the, the light, not laser, the light IPL. It's not a permanent solution, but it was a solution. So I have to go back in and get some more treatments, but yeah. So this is uh, the face and body scrub. I, of course, would not use a, a face scr uh, a scrub on my face. That's don't do that. There's only a little bit left in it. It's taken me a long time to get through this stuff. It's very good. You don't use it too often. It's incredibly bougie though. It's, it costs a lot, like a lot. This is also their purifying cleanser. This is really good. There's not a heap left in this and you don't use very much of it, but I'm shooting through it now. Like I'm, I'm actively using it as body wash at the moment. Another body wash. Uh, there's a lot of body washes there, but like I'm a big person. I use a lot of body wash. Privage. Now this is a face scrub by Elizabeth Arden. It's it, technically it's an exfoliant, but it's a really gentle exfoliant. It's like a moisturizer. There's still beads in it that more massage than exfoliate. There, it's fantastic stuff. Again, I've been using it for about a year, a year and a half. It's down to the last little bit. Face scrub. It's a Japanese one or a Korean one. Do forgive me. I'm pretty sure it's Japanese though. Yeah, rosette cleansing paste. Really powerful stuff. I only use that once a week and you only use the tiniest amount. I'll be going through that for like five years. I only use that if I've had a really greasy day or um, yeah, it, it, if you use it too often, you will break out. But it's really great stuff. So I, I yeah, I got. I think I got it online. It's yeah, it's really good stuff. So that's my face and body cleansers uh, that I'm getting through, and most of those will be gone in like a month, uh, except for the conditioner that I'll be using for the next ten years. This is one that I'm trying to get through. It is the Body Shot Vitamin E Cream Cleanser. It's okay. It's a cream cleanser. It's not spectacular. It's um, it's got a nice smell. I mainly just want to use it up. I used to use this to remove makeup on myself and on clients. It's great for that kind of yeah. 
Um, I don't support the body shop anymore. They went all MLM and also body shop has been the body shop since the 90s. It's just any other products now. I'm trying to get through this and it'll take me forever. It's an aftershave balm by Bulgari. It came with the other little one that empties. I got through the body wash because that's easy. It was like three doses. This, however, is aftershave balm. I don't use very much aftershave balm, but it's, it's the man in black. It came with uh, one of my parfums. I have about six parfums which I don't put in these because I rotate through them. My Bulgari is pretty much my evening smell if I'm going out somewhere. I love Bulgari. It doesn't, it's got great soulage but it doesn't have good lasting power. Uh, it's 24 karat gold skin care. Little gold flakes. This is a hyaluric acid. It's dressed up as something else but it's just hyaluric acid and I have liters of that stuff in my cupboards in various products. If you know anything about hyaluric acid, this is the shit to use on your face to keep it moisture. Now the problem is, is that you can't use it on its own and expect results. You can slather it on all you like, but it won't actually absorb into the skin until it's got a carrier agent. The carrier agent is literally any moisturizer. Uh, hyaluric acid also, it's usually in with glycerin. It needs moisture. It's got to be, it's, it's got to have moisture added to it. So at the moment I'm using Lacura Revitalize. It's a tiny little bit of that with a bunch of this. Yes, so like I said, I have literal, like about a litre of hyaluric acid in various products in, I think, Lacura Moisturizer. This is from Aldi in Australia. If you are near an Aldi, the Lacura range of products is, is the bomb. I'm in Tasmania, I'm no longer near an Audi. The last time I went to an Audi, I brought all the Lacura range, except for the caviar cream. I really wanted it, but they didn't have any at the shop that I was in. This stuff smells like every lady's like high-end moisturizer. It's fantastic stuff. This is the Revitalize uh, Day Cream. I've also got a night cream um, that I don't use that much. My partner uses more of that. It's a little tiny bit of this, a bunch of this, and then the which is the hydration mist. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water by Mario Bascu. I love this stuff. This one smells amazing. This is like the toning spray. They're not toners, they're just water sprays with a bit of moisturizer in them. This, this, and this is my daytime secret. This is how I stay moisturized. It's also good skin prep if you're gonna be wearing makeup on it later on. So tell me you won't need primer if you're using these. They'll keep it perfectly moist and supple and make your skin look great. But yeah, that one is just, oh, it smells so good. Bougie rose water, it's great. So yeah, just a couple of teaspoons of this. I think the pump is a teaspoon, so two pumps on another side of the face. After a little layer of this, beautiful. We'll be at the end there, and a couple of daily products, it turns out. Uh, Clinique, I'm trying to get through this. Clinique, all about eyes, rich, reduces puff, it reduces circular puffiness. I'm not sure if it does that, but I'm trying to use it up. It's really thick though, like really thick. If I put it on, it'll, you can just put it on a tiny dab. I don't know if it does reduce puffiness, I don't think it does, but it's a nice little moisturizer and a really good moisture around the eyes helps. Uh, yeah, so, oh, maybe that does do something. <laughs> there we go. Sunscreen. The older I get, the more important this becomes, but I hate putting on a big thick cream. I've actually got a bunch of really thick creams in there that I hate putting on because they're like white cast. And I don't like that. This is the Beach Defense Spray SPF 50, four hours. Uh, this is a Neutrogena one. I've got another Neutrogena one that I've actually used. I've got these in my gym bag, my car, and in my pan. Yeah, I just spray it on before I go outside every day. This causes a huge amount of residue on your face at the end of the day, though. Uh, it smells really great. You don't really feel it. It's, it's moisturizing, which is great. But at the end of the day, this is why I use this to, to get it off because if I went to sleep with this stuff on, I would wake up with black sheets. It's, it's, yeah. So if you use too much of it and go too heavy, you can actually sort of peel it with your finger on there. It's kind of gross, but it's essential. As you get older, you want SPF. And I don't understand why more men don't use this stuff. That's why they look like leather handbags. So get your SPF on. And spray is just so good. It's just, and this, the spray on this is amazing. Done. And the last product, not really part of the pan. Neither is the, the sunscreen really. As you can see before it sets down, shine, shiny, like a natural highlight. Like look even younger, suddenly. I'm obsessed at the moment with the Nordica. It's just a cheap perfume brand that you see in like Emma's Warehouse and all these places, but well actually for a deodorant it's not, it's about eight bucks, nine bucks, so it can. I've got like six. Um, I've got all of them. I've got the classic, the blue sale, the 
I don't know, the extra blue star, whatever it is, the silver can. The silver can, the classic stuff. Oh my God, it's like a jasmine and it's really floral and I like and I love it. This one's a little bit cool cucumber. It's beautiful, love them. I am trying to, like I use deodorant so much, like so much. I used to be obsessed with perfumes. I find the deodorants have better silage and better staying power. And these are just fantastic. So I use those every day. I have so many. It's never a problem to get through deodorants though. I, I sweat so much. So every time I go to gym, every time I come out of gym, every time I'm, I'm doing something during the day randomly, if it's a hot day, I'm just spraying deodorant. So it's no problems getting through that. So these are the products that I'm going to get through. I have tons of products in my bathroom that I don't want to waste and throw out so I'm just focusing on them because a lot of them are like these where they end up like halfway or something else and then I move on to another product and like and I'm like oh I want to try something else now I'm actually going to focus and, and use up products instead of buying new not just my health uh, I, I'm going to say I want to lose weight but I actually want to get healthy I want to get fit I want to get healthy I'm starting to get results from a year long journey in that already this year I really want to amp it up and I really want to actually get down to regular size I can't shop, it's off the rack, I have to buy everything like big men's range and I hate that so much. They really, like every single big men's store really emphasises the fact that you are fat. Or like Big Johnny and Mr Big and Fatty make fat fat. This is not fun, not good for your self esteem, but it's also a reminder that you are a fatty and fucko lose some weight so yeah, there we go it's working for me so i'm really focusing on my health and losing some weight my cardio health has massively improved my lung capacity has improved i don't wheeze i can get upstairs just fine because i use those bloody treadmill things of the, the stair masters of the gym so yeah i'm getting there i'm getting this slightly slightly it's a journey not a destination but on a personal level at home, I want to, I, I, I want to say minimalist, but I, it's not the right word. Uh, essentialist. We are downsizing at some point in the near future because we're building, it's a tiny home. It's a large tiny home, but it's a tiny home. When we start building, I'll bring you along on that journey and you can come down with me and watch me build stuff. That'll be fun. You can't just move into a tiny home and expect it to be successful. You need to be in the right space and the right headspace and have all of the... The building blocks in place, you need to have what you need. There's no point, I believe, in having a whole bunch of stuff and then trying to minimise when you get there. You, you need to process it beforehand. So I'm trying to just reduce things down to the essentials that we need and that we use and that we appreciate because, yeah, I think that's the key to success for it. But also we have way too much shit, honestly. There is so much stuff out there. All of that stuff has it just made so much clutter. I've got now about a third of our belongings in the last week and I think I'll go through and do another sweep in about a month's time. But I have been working really hard with every room in, in this house actually. And I've been trying to make it not just less stuff, but nice, nicer presentation, nicer storage, nicer organisation. And I'm nearly there, nearly, nearly there. I've got a few little areas like paper and I did all my clothes and we're going to go through and do the clothes. Decluttering in a second after that. You'll say that I've reduced my wardrobe down just over half, probably like two thirds of my wardrobe went. So let's have <laughs>
So that was a process that was really interesting for me to see how much shit that I actually had. A lot of those clothes didn't fit well, or they were older, or I just never wore them. I, I saw them probably online, a lot of them came from online, where I only shopped two brands, basically. So I saw them on sale, and I thought, oh, hey, they look great there. And then you get them, and you're like, ugh, that's a bit fat guy Hawaiian shirt. But I really love florals. Like, I, I really love my florals. I think floral shirts are really cool. I like seeing them a few years ago. They were really, really hard to get. But I've always enjoyed them. And yeah, sometimes I just got a bit excited buying them. But uh, I'm hoping that in six months' time I'll have a totally different product. But a problem where oh, I have to clear out my entire wardrobe and buy a new sack because nothing will fit. That would be great. Everything being too big. And I will just go for a capsule wardrobe then. Thanks for joining me this week. I know, very different video, but hopefully there's a little bit of inspiration. It's not just organisation and decluttering and project planning. These are things that everybody should be doing to focus on the products that we have, that we want. It's very easy to want stuff. It's yeah, very easy to let your life get out of control and to be overly consumerist. And I've been very guilty of that, but I'm trying to rein it in and go back to a simpler, more essential version of me where I put in focus and quality over quantity and lust and general just consumerism. It's time for me to slow that shit right down. So thanks for joining me so much. Um, it's been great. Love it when you're here. If you like, thumbs up, subscribe, share, all of that shit. If not, thanks for being here. I do this shit for me. So peace out.